Yes, yes, welcome to another video. In this video, we're going to be looking at uh, should Cole Palmer be starting against PSG or is it a bit uh, a bit too soon or what, what, what do you think? What do you think about it? We're going to get into that and uh, we'll have a look at some other players who could be starting in that game. Uh, before we do, please like the video. We'll go for a thousand likes on it. I think the like button's actually getting dashed soon, isn't it? So this might, these might be a last opportunities to like our videos. So you know what I mean? Appreciate the boys, isn't it? Like the video does us a solid. Uh, also, this video is sponsored by OneFootball. OneFootball have an incredible app. Uh, Lewis uses it all the time during our live watch longs and that. Uh, you get in-game stats, you can do votes and everything. It's got transfer news. Sometimes you'll see mine and Lewis's face on there. It's really good. It's a really good app. And most of most people who watch our channel on the reg will know. Will know. You know, and they know it's a sick app. Um, and if you've not downloaded it, go download it. It's completely free. Link is in the description. It's the pinned comment. It's all that. So uh yeah, go download it. Completely free. On, available on all all the phones. Every phone. Even the Nokia. It's probably not the Nokia. Um right, let's get into it. Cole Palmer, should he start? Um, there's a case for it. There's a case for it. Uh, obviously, he made his full Premier League debut um, at the weekend against Everton. Um, but I've seen a lot of people saying, like, nah, nah, he's not ready, not ready. But he seemed to just fit in. He just slotted in. Like, I mean, it's his full Premier League debut, and he just slotted in as if, like, he'd been playing week in, week out. He had a really good link-up with Gundogan. Yeah, obviously, he made he created two chances in the game. Like, that one to Bernardo. That ball to Bernardo was so good. Probably should have been a goal in that. Bernardo should have first-timed it, really. But he's looking like he's in, integrating really well. I feel like the striker position is a really difficult position to find yourself in, especially because it's more of a false nine. I know, like, when, when Aguero was playing there last season, he was complaining about not receiving the ball as much. So when you look at the games of the people that play strike, you might be like, oh, a bit quiet, a bit quiet. But I feel like there's more to the game, more to it, obviously, with him dropping a bit deeper, linking up with Gundogan, and then it obviously gives more space for our wide players and that. Um, and I, I, there is other cases. There is other cases for other people to start over him, obviously, because Cole Palmer's really young. It's PSG, who have an incredible side. I mean, they've got that God squad going on. Uh, it's like an ultimate team, isn't it? Um, so, other than Cole Palmer, who are you looking at? Obviously, we're with, with the current injury situation. Um, for, I don't think Foden would be playing up top in this. We've seen Foden play the false nine quite a bit recently, but that's usually when you've got someone like Jack Grealish on the left. But obviously, we've seen Bernardo. Bernardo's played there quite a few times. He usually switches it up, going to midfield, and then going up, for, up front. Kev, he's done it a few times. Um, we know that Gabby... Gabby's one that he is an actual striker. Um, well, he was an actual striker, but now he's a converted right winger. So it's whether he obviously didn't feature at all against um, against Everton. So it's whether we put him up front or whether we just stick to the false nine. Me personally, I'm kind of favouring towards false nine because it's what's working for us at the moment. If we switch it up and try and play Gabby as an actual striker, I don't think it. I don't think it's going to work out. And the same for Raheem Sterling. If Raheem Sterling's going to start, I'd prefer him to start on the right wing. I think, personally, that will start Mares. But if we were to start Raheem, it has to be right wing for me. I don't want him up there as a striker. Um, he had a decent game against Everton. He's looking good at the moment. He's looking good, Raheem. Um, so I'd rather just stick to right wing Raheem. Do you know what I mean? When he went to, even when he went to the left-hand side, you know what I mean? You could see it changes it up, changes it up for Raheem. He has to be on the right-hand side. Not up top, none of that. Can we just swerve that? And never, ever, ever play him there again because it's 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 trash. We all know it's trash. Um, so yeah, I feel like Cole Palmer is a legit option for this game. He's a, he's, he's a legit option for it. It's just whether people want to risk him. People want to risk it. Um, obviously, Kev Kev's going to be out because he's got COVID. So you're going to be playing like Gundogan and Bernardo again. It's been pretty much the same midfield again. Um, and then for me, up, up top, maybe you can take out uh, Raz for Mares, play forward and left, and you could, like I say, play Cole Palmer up top. Gabby is obviously an option there with his work rate. That that that's big. That is big. But uh, if he said that he doesn't want to play there, he doesn't want to play there. So you know what I mean, it's it's, it's, like, it's really weird being in this position to say, yeah, Cole Palmer is going to play this game against PSG. Now, the PSG game on a whole isn't the biggest, you know I mean, it's not the biggest game in the world. It's just, I, I feel it's more of a don't lose situation. It's a don't lose situation because we draw with PSG, we're still, we're still um, above them, we beat Leipzig, we top the group. We beat PSG, we guaranteed top the group. You know what I mean? It's, 
We're in, we're in a really good position, really good position because of PSG dropping points. And last time, last time we played, I think we actually did play Raheem up front last time, and he had he had a couple of chances. I might be wrong in that, but I know Raheem did play. Um, I feel like last time we did have chances. It's just about taking your chances. We have to we have to be clinical in this because as we saw last time, they can come back and hurt you. Do you know what I mean? The chances for Messi and that. You, if you, these these kind of players you're playing against you, they're gonna be they're gonna hurt you. They get a chance, they're gonna hurt you. So we need to make sure that we are on it. I'm absolutely buzzing for the game. We're obviously doing a live watch on, so make sure you, you if you're not doing anything, um, if you're not going to the match, and you're just watching it on BT Sport, just put it on, put us on on your other TV. It's a it's a good laugh. Uh, and PSG is usually a good one. It's usually it's usually a good game that. Um, but yeah, we're gonna be doing our live watch on, so I'll link it tomorrow. Probably you'll see a note notification that make sure you click the notification bell then you'll get notified um but yeah the main talking point is cole palmer obviously the everton game but can cole palmer start in this game this game like do you know what i mean it's it's a big one um you'll obviously see our start our predicted lineup that will go for tomorrow um it's a uh, it's difficult it's difficult whether you just throw him in but I, i'm uh i like the idea of it i like the idea of it i love it when you see these academy players Academy players going through. When you see James McAtee coming on and Cole Palmer coming off, love to see it. And you got Phil Foden on the pitch. I mean, Lamezia, point two, isn't it? Oh, two point oh. Uh, but yeah, let me know in the comment section below. I'm gonna read all the comments in that. I'm gonna try and reply to some in it. So I can't reply to them all because there's a bear of you in it. But I'll, I'll, I'll reply to some in that. I usually give the crown to the first comment. So big up to you. Um, yeah, but uh, yeah, I'll see you tomorrow. And I'll see you tomorrow. Make sure you, you like the video. Go down the one football on that. But yeah, to do it. <laughs>